5,688 mile journey to the Panama Canal is complete. We made it, honey. Check one. I see a ship there far away. I think that's the one that we saw earlier when we were driving over here. That's probably it. The Panama Canal has a lot more to offer than just amazing views of big ships and containers and lorries and docks and locks and gates. There's a museum. And pumps. There is also a museum. She's always stealing my thunder. Always stealing my thunder. From Austin, Texas, we drove all the way to this point right here. That is the Panama Canal. I'm the only woman I know that has driven her bike across Mexico and Central America. All right, let's find out the real age. How old the seat is? 41? Definitely female. Wow. You have 76% water. That's a lot. We have driven a lot to see this. Over 5,000 miles. Over 5,000 miles. Drove. On a motorcycle. On motorcycles. Motorcycles. And there we are. This is it. It's the Panama Canal. One ship's leaving. I just want to clarify, I drove my own motorcycle, but I would have ridden on the back of yours anytime. I would have driven with you on my bike. Yeah. We left the Gatun docks and now we are right next to uh, Lake Gatun and the docks are just down this way and you can see all the ships lined up. This is the ship that just crossed through the canal and all of these have either crossed or they're waiting for their turn. I have a feeling this is what the whole lake looks like. And that's our rental car to explore Panama. This is the Radisson Summit Butterfly House. It's the Mariposa Butterfly Farm. Mariposa. And they're, they're flying. A real life sloth in the rainforest. Right outside our hotel. Hey sloth.
just found out that it's Saturday. You thought it was Friday. And you're freaked out. Yeah. That is sad. I mean, wow. I feel for you. We have crossed the continent. We have. We are on the Atlantic side of the of Panama. Yeah, we are in Colon, Panama, and if you look out this way, this is the Caribbean Atlantic. And uh, ships coming into the peninsula. And as you can see, there's just hundreds of ships here in this area. Cologne turned out to a little bit uh, to be a little bit of a bummer because uh, it's not pretty. It's just really old, one out, uh, not nice. Uh, we saw a cruise ship. That's nice. Now we are on our way to the. Um, Panama Canal, and there's this really old storage building right there. Let me point that out. All right, let's see if the Panama Canal looks cool. We are in Portobello. There's an uh, old fortress that is uh, right at the beach, or like at, at the bay, to be more exact. Um, there is no, no beach, so Columbus himself found this bay and uh, named it Portobello. It's a nice port. The water is shallow. You can see some ships stranded close by, but all the other ships are just laying here in the calm sea. And this is the fort that they built. And there's sunshine. We are in downtown Panama City and it's uh, mind-blowing. There are so many things uh, to point out here. You have skyscrapers, you have uh, the yacht club, you have the bay uh, with the big ships and the horizon. You have sunshine standing there. A moment ago, like rain showers came through for just five minutes made everything wet right now there's no drop falling down it's really nice the temperature is great and the buildings around us are unbelievable hi right, talk to us well we're out here on three islands um, just right outside of Panama City so um, we start painting this way these are three outer islands all the marine traffic around here but I, I don't think they're going to the Panama Canal some of this looks like fishing vessels and some of it you know looks like tankers like picking up yeah I think the oil. Panama Canal traffic is on the other side police checkpoint behind us and they want to see uh, my passport I guess our passport my passport yeah and uh, we don't have that because we didn't want it to get mugged, so we left them at the hotel room. They took my driver's license so we can't drive off. And we've been sitting here for 10 minutes and they're trying to figure out uh, what I guess they do. They ask if someone can bring us a passport. We're like, of course not. So right now we're sitting here and waiting and uh, for them to say, all right, screw it give them back the driver's license and uh, let them be on their way but I don't know if that's gonna happen or when is this gonna happen yeah they said they placed a bullette against you or what Which, would that be a joke? Um, basically you know they couldn't really do anything because we didn't speak Spanish and they don't speak English and I think she was trying to issue us a ticket but they, I don't think there was any way she could issue a ticket if we don't speak the language so they just ended up letting us go.